Well, here in France, seven people are due in court today, alleged to have been complicit in a series of attacks in the south of France back in 2018. The incidents took place in, around the city of Carcassonne when a gunman shot three men dead in a car park and took hostages inside a supermarket, claiming he was fighting on behalf of Islamic State. You re may remember it was a police officer, Arnaud Beltram, who asked to take the place of a receptionist being held and in doing so was then killed. Well, today's trial focuses on seven alleged complices of the suspect who was shot dead during the subsequent police operation. Let's bring in Claire Pacalan inside court in Paris. Claire, good to talk to you, good to see you. Remind us of this case. So let me take you back to what happened nearly six years ago now. Uh, a 25-year-old Moroccan-born French national, Redouane Lakdim, he hijacked a car in, in the town of Carcassonne, southwest France. He killed the passenger, a 60-year-old local wine grower, and he badly injured the driver. The driver was in his 20s and is still alive today, but living with a bullet in his head. Doctors say they, they cannot operate on him. The attacker then took that car, drove a few kilometers to the town of Treb. He went into a supermarket there. He killed a customer, another man in his 60s, and he killed the supermarket butcher, a man in his 50s. And he took a woman, a woman working in that supermarket hostage, really using her as a human shield. She has since spoken about that ordeal, saying that he had a gun to her head and a, a knife against her rib cage. The gendarme then arrived on the scene. Now, just to give you some context, in France, the gendarmerie are a militarized police force, and they are responsible for law enforcement in rural areas and small towns. So that's why they arrived on the scene first. And the most highly ranking member of that group, Arnaud Beltram, a 44-year-old, uh, Lieutenant Colonel, he actually said that he would exchange himself for the hostage. According to the hostage, uh, he said to the attacker, take me instead, I'm a representative of the state, this woman has nothing to do with anything. He laid down his gun and he exchanged himself for the hostage. Um, a negotiation took place for a couple of hours, but the attacker then killed Arnaud Beltram. That's when police raided the supermarket and the attacker himself was killed. So very much Arnaud Beltram is a hero in France. The hundreds of streets and squares and parks, even some public buildings have been named after him and he was of course given a state funeral too. Interesting. I remember covering that story at the time from there in the midst of a number of terror attacks across Europe. Claire, tell us about the seven people today, these so-called uh, alleged accomplices. Certainly that attack came in the context of a wave of terrorist attacks in Europe and France was the hardest hit of any European country at the time. And that's why we're seeing now these trials, these terrorism trials taking place. It takes a long time for investigations to take place. We saw the Vatican trial took place here two years ago in the courtroom just behind me. The Nice attack trial took place as well in the courtroom just behind me just over a year ago. And now this trial, seven people who were close friends of the attacker, Radouane Lakdim, including one woman who has garnered a lot of interest in France. She was his girlfriend. She was 18 at the time and had converted to a radical form of Islam. And now these, out of the seven people who are on trial today, five of them are accused of having links to a terrorist group. And that is a very serious crime. They're looking at up to 30 years in prison if they're found guilty. Now, they all deny having any knowledge that this attack was going to take place. This trial we expect to last a month, and so we should be getting a verdict at the end of February.